Gregory Cheadle, the black man singled out by President Trump Donald John Trump Mexico says it disagrees with astonishing Supreme Court decision allowing Trump asylum rule the Afghan negotiations, echoes from the past Democrats grill army, Air Force nominees on military funding for border wall more as my African American at a rally is leaving the Republican Party and pursuing a congressional run as in. Independent PBS News reported Thursday, the 62-year-old real estate broker told the outlet that he sees the GOP as pursuing a pro-white agenda and using black people like him as political pawns. The moment that convinced Cheadle to leave the party was when many Republicans did not condemn Trump's tweets telling four Congresswomen of color to back to the countries and defended Trump's attacks on Rep. Elijah Cummings Elijah Eugene Cummings Trump's visit to Baltimore to be met with protests Giuliani tears into Democrats after House opens probe into whether he pressured Ukraine to target Biden House Republicans want details on Democrats trips to Mexico more DMD and Baltimore. Advertisement. President Trump is a rich guy who is mired in white privilege to the extreme. Cheadle, who switched from being an independent to a Republican in 2001, told PBS. Republicans are too sheepish to call him out on anything and they're afraid of losing their positions and losing any power themselves. He said that after the two attacks from the president, many of his Republican friends defended Trump. They were sidestepping the people of color issue and saying that, no, it's not racist, he said. They were saying these people were socialists and communists. That's what they were saying. And I thought this is a classic case of why it's not seeing racism because they want to put blinders on and make it about something else. Cheadle became known when Trump singled him out at a 2016 rally in Reading, Calif. At the time, Cheadle laughed along with the president and the crowd and said he wasn't offended by the incident. I'm more critical of it today than I was back then because today I wonder to what extent he said that for political gain or for attention, he told PBS, let's block ads. Why?